Hey, a pleasant good day everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News and I'm Joe Borick and this is going to be our next NHL team preview that we are going to be previewing the Edmonton Oilers in this one. They got a very fun and interesting team with Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Connor McDavid, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, my favorite, one of my favorite players in the NHL in Leon Dreisaitl. I just love this kid. He opened the floodgates in this era of Germany to have guys come over of Tim Stutzla now, obviously, and then J.J. Paterka, but I won't get into more and more of that in a video for the Oilers. But they got a very solid team when he's back. He's been in camp with them, but is not going to be ready to go for the opener. Uh, James Neal, when you have guys that can set him up, still will produce for you. Kyle Torres was a very nice, sneaky pickup. I agree with Peyton on the radio. Check him out on YouTube. Does great stuff. Uh, I agree with him on that. He was a great, sneaky pickup for them to now have a three-deep center. So he can play third-line center, and Nuge can play up on the first or second line on the wing to get the most potent offense out of your top two lines. Dominic Kahn has phenomenal chemistry with Leon Dreisaitl, another guy from Germany. He uh, was ridiculous with Dre over there in Germany. Uh, both of those guys would produce ridiculous high 100-point seasons and then sometimes into the 200-point. Uh, it was absolutely bonkers uh, what they were doing over there. So now you got Jesse Pujarvi, who's coming back over, matured, uh, ironed out, and I think he's going to do good as a third-line guy probably to start since of how well Kyle Yamamoto was a point-per-game guy just under that 26 and 27 game coming up. It's like, hello, uh, welcome to the league. He uh, really introduced himself to everybody and balled out uh, in the NHL as soon as he came up. Uh, so this team is very well filled out. A big issue they obviously have coming into this or coming into this year, which is a question, is who's going to step up for Oscar Clefbaum. They got Evan Bouchard, who uh, played very well and produced uh, 36 points uh, in the minors in 34 games, above a point-per-game guy uh, there. So he played extremely well. Uh, he's pretty much uh, ready and should be up. Um, they also got... Um, Samaro, um, Samarokov, excuse me, who's uh, 21 and almost ready as well, who played in the AHL on defense. I had to read that, and I wrote down the pronunciation for that name. So I said as good as possible. And uh, he does everything pretty much at a uh, high level and, uh, and pretty much has a very good NHL vision. So he could potentially come up. Bouchard's obviously their big guy. Uh, Dylan Holloway obviously is a guy to get excited about probably more as a second liner or something uh, in the future, maybe not your top line guy. And then a guy that's had injury problems to look out for is a guy, maybe Tyler Benson, uh, who's a good physical winger who needs to increase his production, but his production was probably down because he's battled multiple injuries. If he can stay healthy, he's definitely a guy that has the potential to take over an Alex Chase on a uh, fourth liner type role, in my opinion. So, I feel like uh, he's a guy that you could look out for if he's healthy. Maybe he's a dark horse guy to make a bottom six impact. But uh, this is a team that I really like. I really like what they're doing. I just think Oscar Clifton being out in that North Division, that Canadian Division, that potentially the toughest, if not the second toughest uh, coming in this year, I think it could honestly be the toughest. Uh, they're, it's going to be tough with Clifton being out when... I know, uh, Oilers fans, a lot of you were not necessarily happy you kept the same goaltender situation. The goaltending situation is exactly the same. I thought you were going to pick up somebody else with Koskinen, who I've liked in spurts. He's shown great moments, and I've really liked him. I'm a big goalie guy. I've liked what well, really might be a stretch, but I've liked him at times, and I think there's a potential I could really start liking him if he could really get going. But I think get bring in a veteran that's a little bit more of a technically sound goaltender would have made more sense for me behind Koskinen to help him out rather than Smith who had a good career and had and, and hats off to him he's had a very solid career with some great runs down there in Arizona and with many other teams as well it's just he's not the same guy anymore and he's just that crazy guy that does all those things tries to play the puck uh he's a goof out there but still plays the position well so I don't know if he's the guy that they you needed behind Koskinen but I like Mike Smith. He seems to be great in interviews. Uh, I watch a couple that are pretty uh, funny sometimes with him. But uh, I just felt like you guys were going to get more of a veteran, like, uh, bless his heart, hope he's well. But before his um, heart problems, uh, Henrik Lundqvist or somebody like that behind, or sign like the Braden Holpe, like it seemed like uh, some fans wanted as well. But 
I think that's why I see this team finishing second or third in the division. Uh, well, I will reveal that tomorrow when I do actually my standing predictions. But that is where I see them finishing. I see guys like Darnell Nurse. Tyson Burry plays great in the Western Conference. I see that being a good pickup. But you got guys like Torres and uh, Burry that have to adjust. There hasn't been a preseason. See how they come in right away to the system. And I think because of having a big defenseman, a great defenseman in Oscar Cliffbaum, a very consistent guy out, uh, is going to make a big impact and potentially uh, make you move down from being up in the projection where I had the Oilers before at more of competing for the first or second spot rather than being more the second or third uh, team uh, in the middle there. But this has been the Edmonton Oilers team preview. I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day. It is the one-day countdown. The NHL season starts tomorrow. Let's get pumped, everybody. Is everybody ready for some hockey? Because I know I sure as hell am. Everybody have a great and safe, pleasant day. Get ready for some hockey and enjoy the hockey, everybody. Peace out, everyone.